Sometimes it's easy to hear that a sequel is being made and just think, ah, oh, well, it never will be as good as the first. And for a long time, that was pretty much the case. But anymore, sequels, people are learning how to make them. And sequels turn out to be as good, if not better, than the original. The Toy Story series is a great example of this. They learned that they could make the same characters in a movie, but still make the movie mean something and be great. Not so much the case with the movies I want to talk about today for Q-tips, but you know, maybe you'll like them. I don't know. Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps is the first sequel I wanted to mention. Uh, and I'd just say, don't bother putting this on your queue. It's really not even worth talking about that much. I mean, I love Shia LaBeouf as much as the next guy, um, which actually I don't know how much the next guy loves him. I love him as much as I love him, which is a lot. I think he does great work. Um, he's a great actor, and I'm always engaged with what he does. He's been in some awful movies. The Transformer movies are movies I can't stand, but I still think he's great in them. This is another one. I think he's great in this, but uh, everything around him is sometimes confusing, sometimes slow. The plot, uh, the structure of the plot is sporadic, and you just, you don't get a sense while you're watching this movie that you're invested in any way, shape, or form with what happens to the characters. And at the end of the day, that's not a good place to be. So. I'd avoid the sequel to Wall Street. The second sequel is Nanny McPhee Returns. Now, I liked the first Nanny McPhee movie. I mean, really liked it. I thought it was cute and fun and engaging, had a great message. Uh, as a parent, there's a lot to identify with. What's interesting about Nanny McPhee Returns is they really tried just to follow the same formula as the first one, but the joy's gone. Like. All that, that wonder and joy of the first one just feels like it's been drained from this movie. I don't know what it was, but watching this movie, there's some cute moments and some things the kids laughed at, but I'm watching it going, I'm just, I don't, there's no joy here. Where, where's the joy of Nanny McPhee and the wonder and the beauty? It just all felt very, almost clinical. I don't, I don't know. I did not enjoy Nanny McPhee Returns. Maybe you want to throw it on the queue for the family. Maybe not. I wouldn't recommend it. The third movie, however, I might recommend, especially if you like interesting movies. It is not a sequel. Far from it. It's a very original movie called Buried, and or Buried, depending. I've heard many people pronounce it Buried. I did not know that was an actual pronunciation of the word Buried, that you could say Buried. But apparently, after looking it up, you can say it either way. Um, man, does anybody say Buried? Am I alone in thinking that it's Buried? We've spent way too much time talking about this. The movie is called Buried, and it stars Ryan Reynolds and only Ryan Reynolds. It's the kind of movie that Alfred Hitchcock would have loved to make because there are all these, there's this, let me just tell you the plot. Uh, and this is going to give a lot of the movie, not a lot of spoilers, but I mean give you an idea of whether or not you'll like this movie. The plot is he's buried alive. That's it. That's all I'm going to tell you. He's buried alive, and you spend the entire movie with him buried alive, thinking, is he going to get out? What's going to happen? How's he going to, you know, accomplish this? And when you are in a, a coffin with somebody, in this case Ryan Reynolds, for this length of time, it's going to feel claustrophobic. It's going to feel uh, like you want to get out. So if you deal with claustrophobia, I don't think this movie is for you. If you don't and can stand it, it's a really unique and interesting film. Uh, if not obviously dark and scary, but definitely interesting. By the way, Ryan Reynolds, uh, this was kind of his opportunity to show that he's an, an actor and not just a comedian, not just a funny guy, and I think he pulls it off pretty well. I think Ryan Reynolds is, is a pretty amazing amazing guy and does a good job in this role, but do understand, there, there is no cutaway from the coffin. You are buried alive with Ryan Reynolds for the entire movie, so be aware of that. So, you may not want any of those movies on your queue, but if there's one of them that I might recommend to a discerning viewer, it would be Buried. I mean, Buried. Whatever.